My name is Marcelo. I'm a current junior at Harvard, a musician, producer, events organizer, organized Harvard's first hip hop cipher. Oh, like crosswords. Oh, what? Toys. What? Toys. What? Drawing in chess. But if we cross what words, the do? toys getting drawn to your chest. <laughs> A company called No Label is organized events with people like Travis Scott, Trey London, and Jid at Harvard. And I'm also a research assistant at the Hip Hop Archive. And when I when I heard about it, I knew immediately that I wanted to get involved with the space. The goal of the Hip Hop Archive is to establish a recording of hip hop music, a documentation of it in later years, but also for the present, so that we can have meaningful and valuable conversations about hip hop music and its relation to not just America but the whole world in general. Both Cuba and Brazil have very interesting histories and traditions in the African diaspora. It's showcasing how different communities of color use hip hop uh, internationally. We're trying to make a statement that hip hop is a valuable music to be studied, especially given that we're at a place like Harvard. We're trying to make a statement that we need to study hip hop in order to understand our own identities and the world. Question what high art means as well. We have a project called Classic Crates, uh, establishing 200 classic hip hop albums. And this project is curated by producer Ninth Wonder. We picked 200 classic hip hop albums that we do research on. Like researching the context of what happened in that year, to the artist's life, to analyzing the lyrics. Every year we, every year we induct a few different classic hip hop albums into the Classic Crates. And all of it gets stored, all the research we do gets stored in the Harvard Loeb Music Library. What we end up doing is that we're storing albums next to Mozart, Beethoven, Miles Davis. We're trying to say that this music is just as important as classical music, jazz music, and those kinds of conversations. Basically, there's a Nas Hip Hop Fellowship that the Archive has every year. People who research or are in hip hop do a project through the funding and support of the Hip Hop Archive. Like it was started because Nas came and taught a, a hip hop course along with Ninth Wonder at Harvard. So he's he's been involved with the space and that's how we have. Um, yeah. So um, Ninth Wonder is very involved in the Hip Hop Archive. He taught a class on the history of hip hop music. He teach from here so that he could use the the turntables to play different music examples. How I went about planning the first hip hop cipher, I realized that a lot of hip hop musicians on campus, they were creating music, but they didn't have a platform where they shared their music. More than anything, I wanted this to be an experience, so I wanted the room to be packed and to feel really intimate and dark. I basically started hitting up people who could freestyle and say, hey, you want to be a part of this? And then I also hit up producers, like, do you have any beats you could send over for us to freestyle? Um, crazy, crazy first event. We came up with this idea of no label to basically to create a space where people um, don't have to think about the ascriptive labels that society or other people put onto them. Doing cool arts events um, and creating dope experiences and creating conversation. We've, we've started a speaker series um, at Harvard and now at Yale this semester, basically where we bring in established artists to talk about issues that they really care about. Yeah, it's, it's been a great experience. We, we started with uh, Post Malone's manager, Dre London. We had an event with the Atlanta amazing record label, um, Atlanta-based record label Love Renaissance. We did a masterclass on creativity with Travis Scott because he He's so creative as a person, but he also cares about telling people about, like, like, teaching people how, like, the best practices that they can have to reach their creative potential. Yeah, working with working with Travis Scott or artists of that caliber, it can be a very re rewarding experience, but also very uh, demanding. Just how to make the event happen requires more than people often think. The smallest details can matter so much. So even getting Travis Scott to wear a Harvard hat um, when he came and spoke at Harvard, like people took a photo of that and that became one of the most iconic images of the event. 